I bought an old trials bike and uh, rode that around uh, in my garden till it broke, uh, till I broke it. My first impression is it looks new and it looks prestige. That could be bent by me quite easily. Yeah, and then I, I had myself a, a, a gas gas, like a, 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 a modern one. The difference between the, the, the bike that I've got and, and this is the fact that, yeah, like I say, this has got the same. This isn't just bent and smashed to pieces. And um, yeah, just um, rode it around in my garden, pissing about, trying to, uh, yeah, copy the likes of Lampkin, you know, just, uh, but obviously just going, well, give that a try, see what happens. I reckon that even if I could do that at this stage, I would have, my heart would have actually stopped, my heart would have actually exploded. Like to a normal human being, I think now, technically speaking, it should be getting a full change of blood and a nice lie down. It's great to spend the day with Dougie Lampkin. It's absolutely made up. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's great. brilliant. Great opportunity. But just to meet the bloke, you know, just to see what he can do, you know, riding along that fence over there. It's just you look at it and you go, it's not just, it's not flat. It's like that, and that's just, it's just great to see somebody that that's just got that level of skill, you know. I got a ride dressing down in my test though. You ride over it all. Do it? control and brake control, <laughs> not consistent for road use. I stood in the emergency stop and I just did stop it pretty quick actually and he went, that's just dangerous. I said, you said it were an emergency. <laughs> First little sequence, just talk us around, just a couple of minutes chat about the yeah. nature of the bike. <laughs> So uh, obviously we know he's got a little bit of experience. Well, so. experience is st the w that's stretching the words. All oh, right. I think sort of arsing about in the garden is probably closer. So far, so good. Oh, oh, I love those sort of dramatic so far, so voiceover. Little did we know. Coming up after the break. <laughs> I have to say, that's possibly the most nervous I've ever been just riding around a couple of trees, having the legend standing there watching you like, oh yeah, come on then. Okay, stage two, obstacle two. Just coming up the road there. Look at their terrified little faces. This is uh, this is doggy. He's going to show you how it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Of them all going, ooh, put that over mine. It looked slippy, that's what it looked like. But yeah. And steep. Yeah, slip. Oh, yeah, steep. Yeah. I wasn't thinking steep, but thanks for putting that in here. <laughs> Having somebody like him who's just kind of, who not only knows exactly exactly how to do it, but just has that perfect feel, you know, it's just kind of, yeah. It is quite hard to ride this bike while at the same time going like this. Well, when I first got on this morning, I think it was the sort of thing where it was chucking it down with rain. It's just perfectly started raining. And the ground was all a bit squidgy and, um, yeah, and I wasn't sure. My trials bike, I'd, I've never done, like, a course, you know. It's just, I'll get on it and just ride around and maybe have a go at a bank or a hill or, you know, a log or something, but not. But I've never sort of, I've never done a course against the clock. <laughs> Certainly not with TV cameras on me.
get it. <laughs> so I've just realised that this gone fully down. Can I ride it like this from now on? Come on, Power Rangers. Yeah, any, anyone tunes in now. The Red Power Rangers. I didn't know he was a Geordie. <laughs> right, I'll fight a lot of you. I think the um, I think the actual you know doing the course and against the clock and all the rest of it. I, I I've never really had any I've never really had any desire to you know to go and you know have a little have a go, but. Yeah, I might, I might join a, I might join a club. <laughs>